We're going to take a look at the Godark Faraday bags. Now this is something that really piqued my interest. I'm big about Faraday bags. I have a number of different ones. Here's the facts guys. Your phone is the ultimate tracking device. It follows everything you do. A lot of times you even have your bank information on here. You can be located, you can be tracked, you can be hacked. And having a way to block those signals is getting more and more important. Just the fact that there are cameras everywhere on top of your phone means that they know where you are at all times. And when I say they, that could mean prying eyes from a government. It could be people that are trying to hack you. It could be just nefarious activity. And having the ability to stop that is important. But to me, another big reason why I've gotten into Faraday bags is the possibility of an EMP, which if detonated in the right place, it could destroy 70% of all of the electronics in the US. So having a way to protect that is gonna be vital. Now one thing that I really put a priority on is maybe a phone case. And here is one of their phone cases. You just take this shock cord and it locks right here. It's kind of like one of the dry sacks where it folds over. It needs to because here we have our shielding and there are three different layers of shielding. Now this will block GPS, cellular, 4G and 5G. It'll also block Bluetooth so it makes it safe from hacking or tracking. Also down inside we have a felt material. So this is gonna protect your electronics. So if I drop my phone down, I'm not hitting directly with the shielding material. What's really a big plus for that is I'm also not gonna damage this material. These are really highly dense mesh netting. And this does block any kind of signal, but also in an EMP, it will block those electromagnetic pulses. And this is something that the technology has been around for a long time, but these are really becoming popular. So then I just fold it over and you do need to fold it over because that's also what protects it from the opening. And then I just latch it. The material itself is a poly shell with PU and TPU coatings. This is water resistant, puncture resistant. I mean, honestly, it's watertight and it needs to be because really if it's watertight, that shielding is gonna work even better. Plus your electronics are in here and you don't wanna ruin it. But this is just a flat bag. You just slip it maybe in your glove box, put it in the seat, and then you can go and no one can track you. Even on an iPhone, if you turn it off without putting it in the bag, the Find Me app can still find your phone up to 24 hours after it's shut off. And here we have the MAS series, and this is for Molly attachment system. And it's larger. Uh, it does have the Molly attachment on the back. These are used by the U.S. military, used by law enforcement, federal, state, local, and also for people that really just want to keep their privacy, even security professionals. One thing about this particular lock is that all you have to do is just press down and it comes open. It has a magnetic little seal to it, so it locks in. But... When this thing is closed, there is no way to pull this off unless you take both and push them. And then again, it just unfolds. Again, similar to a dry sack, but that wraps that RF material or the shielding material even tighter. And then, you know, for the larger phones, especially for those that have big cases or you have something a little bit larger, and then again, you wanna make sure that you have that thing folded down really well and then just lock it in. And this is a one-handed use. Because there's no stitching, this also blocks those places that the shielding may not be able to protect you from. I mean, these have been extremely well thought out. All right, guys, we're gonna test out the Bluetooth feature and Seth has Bluetooth hooked up to one of the videos and we're just gonna start it and then we're gonna put it into the Faraday bag. Comp carry model. Let's check it out. That was immediate. <laughs> yeah, it's done. That's done. Okay, that's just the first test and mission complete. And here it says no audio device and we have it right here. Pull it out and see if it'll continue playing. Usually it takes my phone a second to connect to the Bluetooth, but... Here we go. Cool. Guys, we're out here testing the Godark Faraday phone case. We're gonna test it a few different ways. And so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call him directly and go ahead and just get the reception.
Yeah. So we got it. We're going to put it now in the case. And then we're going to call it again. Uh, there's a couple of things we want to see about reception, but also we want to see if it picks up the call once we pull it out of the bag. All right, so I'm going to call him now. We're going to let it ring. It'll probably go to voicemail. Speaker. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Eight, six. Okay, so it's now in there. We're going to pull it out. We're going to see if it actually shows up. There's nothing showing up on the phone. Look up recents. Well, that was from... Yeah, I called you earlier. What time is it? It's 4.09. So now this was from the tests. Pass that test. Now we're going to try something else. On the Find My Phone app, uh, we have my location in blue. We have Seth's, his icon. He's going to put the phone in the bag, and then he's going to go to another location, and we're going to see if we can track him. Okay, slip it in the bag. And we'll fold it up. Lock it in. All right, we still have Seth as a location here, but we have mine. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the phone in the GoDark case, and we're going to drive to a different location, and we're going to watch me move. This is not updated from where Seth's last location was. So then we'll take it out and check it out. Okay, you can see me already moving. And again, I do have Seth's phone. So you can see the phones are together. We're still, we're getting more and more separated. All right, he's off grid. <laughs> we have his phone. Again, we're just getting more and more distance. And it's just giving our his last location, and it's staying there. Okay, here we are. Uh, we just decided to drive up to the Walmart parking lot. Seth's location is still there. It does say seven minutes ago. And then, actually, here we are right here. Because we'll take it out and it'll come back into service. All right, go ahead. Um... Now it'll take a minute to update. Right there. So now that we've taken the phone out, it's showing that we're right here together. So it definitely blocked the signal, left him where we stopped. So that's very effective. Now these have been independently tested. They meet mil-spec standards for defeating an EMP. And that's a big deal in itself. In fact, I have the numbers right down below it. So again, these are used by the U.S. military, federal law enforcement, and a lot of others because these are, to me, the best on the market. And guys, then we have the duffel. Now, this is really large, and you can put bigger pieces of electronics in here. One of the things about an EMP is you don't know when it could happen. And to me, that is more of what this is about. Now, if I was in law enforcement, they're collecting computers or they're collecting phones for an investigation. They may use something like this. There's a lot of different sizes. There's even a bigger one where you can put a computer tower in it. But the funny thing is, if you have your phone put away in a Faraday bag and there is an EMP, you're not have cell service. So what is the use for your phone? Well, you have a lot of data on here. You have a lot of information. You can download a lot of information and this will still be a computer. And as long as you can keep it charged, maybe with solar or a generator, this is still going to have a lot of uses. And it's the same thing with other items that you have, whether you have iPads, laptops, you have radios or thermal, night vision, all of these have computerized chips in them or some kind of electronics. And so you want to be able to preserve those. I'll tell you, to be honest, I think this is a good way to, to put items like this away in a larger bag and then just store them in there. So you're not just waiting for something to happen. And guys, honestly, I mean, they make so many different sizes. You can buy the size that you want to buy.
Now here on the outside we have a zipper and this is sealed and it's waterproof and that way you can put your different items in here. This is not shielded but it gives you a place just to put extra items. Also we have little attachment rings for Molly all the way across and it has that same material. Plus on the bottom we have a rubberized coating that's going to protect it as well from scuffs, from shock, those kind of things as it sits on the ground. Now it does come with two straps and you can use one as a carry strap and it has the attachments right here and you have a little tab you just push down and you have a nub and it just goes over it and it just locks and then if you want to release it just take it and pull it off. So this is a quick release and you can put on one strap for a shoulder strap. You can put on two because they have different setups all around the bag and that way you can use this as a backpack. Nice grab handles and they're solid, 600 denier material and you can tell that this has some kind of coating on it. Uh, it has that PU coating or TPU and then we have these areas right here that are just sealed down and these are double triple stitched. We have a T-pull for the zipper and this is lockable so it locks up on the zipper and then when you pull it it unseals and then you have this sealant that just locks it in. This will make it water resistant. It'll also make it better to seal up all of your gear. And then inside the bag, you see you have the shielding material here. This is removable. So the outer compartment is not what's shielding it. So even though this has a waterproof zipper, even if you had it partially opened, it's not going to affect your electronics. And then at the bottom, we have this really soft material that's going to protect not only what you put in here, but it's also going to protect your shielding. Then right here, we have some Molly attachments. They're Velcro. You just undo it, and you can pull the shielding all the way out. And that way, if this is damaged, you can have this replaced if something happens because you don't want to have any holes or anything in here to allow any kind of radio frequencies to go through. But guys, this is a 45 liter area, so you can put a lot of gear in here. But again, they do make smaller sizes, so if there's something you want to do, maybe with just your thermals. They even make a rifle case for guys that do carry thermal, because that way they can protect their thermal, and yet they don't have to take this thermal off and on their rifle and have to re-zero it. But guys, a lot of gear in here, and this thing will seal it up. Guys, I'll tell you, this is something close to my heart, not only for the tracking, which I've already gotten to where it just really bothers me that they can follow everything I do. But if an EMP hits, that is my worst nightmare. And this is going to protect you. So guys, if you don't like being tracked, if you don't like being hacked, or if you're concerned about an EMP, uh, check out the Go Dark Faraday bags. This is an excellent way, whether you go with just blocking your phone or you're really concerned about a possible ENP and you want to protect your electronics, the Go Dark Faraday bags are going to be a great option. Guys, on a final note, we were very impressed with the phone cases. Obviously, with the duffel, can't really simulate an EMP, but it, it does have the same properties as the phone cases with the same materials. And so, very impressed with the outcome. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. But one of the things about a Faraday bag is it blocks the, what does it block? I don't, I don't even know what it blocks. But guys, you have a 46, is it 46? <laughs> you do that again? Yeah, I'll do that one more time. Good job. I mean, let's face it, guys, an EMP could happen at any time. Okay, I don't want to get into that, sound like a prepper. <laughs> Whole lot of editing going on here. Yeah. Get you one, get the... <laughs> so now this was from the tests. Those two at the top. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this going. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> then we got to focus it around. I've already said all that. I've already said all that. 
here it's showing you're back there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I am. All right, I'll bet it. I'll be in. All right, finally I got here. <laughs>